it is looking lit. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Efficient channel. Today is January 19th, 2018, my outing number four of this year. And we may have a government shutdown today. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys, okay? We ain't gonna talk about politics in this video. But uh, anyways, right? Yesterday, I went to an Asian buffet to get some lunch. Those who follow me on Instagram know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you guys are familiar with Asian buffets, after you eat your meal at an Asian buffet, they usually give you a little fortune cookie, you know? And I gotta tell you, when I opened my fortune cookie yesterday, I was perplexed, folks. I know it was just a big coincidence what is, what is said in the cookie there, right? But uh, for a moment I thought, man, how did they know that I failed miserably at the Penny Peck Creek for my fishing session number three of this year, right? I mean, how did they know that? But the bottom line is, I may have failed, but I am not giving up. So as you guys can see today, I'm here in New Britain Borough, Pennsylvania. Right behind here, we have a frozen pond. And as a matter of fact, everything around here that is still water is still frozen. You know, lakes, reservoirs, ponds. We can't fish them unless it is ice fishing, right? And I can't even vouch for the safeness of this ice. So in this video, I am still going to try to prove my point to you guys, which is that in open water, once temperatures are just a little bit above 32, you, uh, you can still catch fish, okay? So thankfully, we, ha we got the Pine Run Creek behind the spawn. That place should not be frozen. And I am just praying, I'm placing my hopes that today we are going to catch some fish there and not get skunked, all right? So let's go check the creek out, see how much of it is frozen, if it is fishable, and hopefully we're gonna land some fish in this video. Yeah, check this out, eh? This is good, people, this is real, real good. Look at this, eh? The creek is not frozen. So I just got here to the Pine Run Creek. This is the first spot that we're going to be fishing today. Oh yeah, and as you guys can see, the setup that I'm using for today is pretty much the same setup that I was using in the previous fishing session. The only difference is that instead of having just the jig head tied on today, I have a little Komal weighted float, right? So instead of doing the traditional cast and retrieve jigging, we're gonna do some suspended jigging. So yeah, let me get started here. I gotta use some worms today, a trailer or some super worms. Hopefully we gotta do some good multi-species here at the Pine Run Creek. Now it is all a matter of is there any fish here. <laughs> Man, I certainly hope there's some sunfish or anything around the area. History is repeating itself. First snag of the day. This is not this is not funny. This is not funny at all, dude. Yesterday, I mean two days ago, we got a snag. Oh I got off. Woo! I was just going to say history is repeating itself, man. This is no bueno man. We need to set up this flow just a little bit down. Adjust the height of this thing, you know, so it doesn't get all the way down for real oh 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 i'm snagged oh you kidding me i almost got snagged again man this is so not cool how shallow can this place get man oh hell no hell no I almost got snagged again. No, 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 we're out of here, boys. I mean, no doubt, no doubt there's some fish around this area here. They're just stacked somewhere, but I am taking risks, man. I got snagged three times in less than 10 minutes. Time to change the spots and try to find this fish, man. Can't waste time losing gear over here. Well, let me tell you something. 
You know that his stuff just got real when extreme fillet fishing hits a speedway, all right? I just straightforward hopped to the most productive place in this creek, which is the speedway. If we don't catch a fish here, I don't know what to say, you know? So I don't know exactly how we are going to catch the fish, but we are going to land a fish today, all right? So yeah, I don't know exactly how we gotta do this, but we gotta land a fish, my friends. If the spillway doesn't provide, I don't know where else in this creek, you know, it's going to provide. Hopefully, we're gonna land a fish soon. Oh, get it, get it, boy, get it. Fish on, fish on, first fish of the day. It's coming up, we actually caught a fish. Yes, we caught a fish. I'm so happy right now. You guys have no idea. We caught a fish. All right, let's take a shot at this guy. Gonna take a shot at this guy. We're gonna release it. Look at this, huh, guys. Our first fish of the day, a little bluegill. As I always tell people, man, it is not so much about the sizes, you know? It is more about achievement, you know what I'm saying? We came out today and, uh, you know, with the goal of catching a fish and we caught one that's that's what it counts man winter time fishing you know it's a it's a tough gig tough gig you know look at that oh the other way fella oh he'll be fine oh 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 fish on fish on oh that bite was a little bit stronger come here Ah, oh, it's just a little bluegill. Look at that, huh? Hell yeah! Well, we already got the bluegill for today, the Lepomis macrocutus. Let's release it over here for you guys. Little bluegill! Look at that, huh? That's beautiful. Now we just need some, uh, some species diversity, you know what I'm saying? Oh! 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 Ah, what the heck, man? Dude, he was almost there. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, fish on. I was going to say, no, what? Ah, ah for real, man? No bueno. Took my worm too. Little fish, revenge is coming. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is it a sunfish? Oh, it's nice, it's a, it's a bigger sunfish. Look at that. Now this is more, hey, okay. It's not that big, but check this out, huh, guys? It's a, it's a little bit bigger than the previous one, right? Eh, okay, yeah, not as big as I expected to be, but you know, man, one of these is still better than nothing, right? So let's release this guy over here. Now put up a good fight, a great fight on ultralight. Man, water is definitely freezing. This is like about, about 32. No, 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 no. Go the other way, little fella, that's right. You'll be fine over there. You can go to the deeper spot. Fish on. Oh, what is that? That is not a bluegill. That is not a bluegill. What is that? Holy cow, dude! Holy cow, it's a crappie! It's a white crappie! It's a nice size white crappie! Look at this! Woo! Look at that! My first crappie of 2018, the Pomoxis annularis. You know this is different than the black crappie, right? Because the body is more slender. And check out, it's got this vertical bars over here that are actually very patterned right this is beautiful this is i mean for my area this type of crappie right here it's a good size you know from shore you know what i'm saying check this out huh i just took a few shots at this guy final view of our white crappie right here this is a nice white crappie for my area okay i mean maybe it's small for you guys some of you guys but for me this is it i gotta release it let's see 
This one I gotta release a little bit more in front here. I wish I could give it a good release, but it's very tricky stepping on those rocks and not falling in, you know? All right, this is good, this is good. We gotta release it right over here. Oh yeah, look at that, dude, this is a beautiful fish. This is what I'm talking about. You come out here, you know, it is cold as hell, but you get rewarded, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me tell you something about winter fishing in open water. It is actually pretty tricky, you know? It is not as easy as folks think it is, you know? I mean, today, sure, we've been catching some fish, you know? We've been catching some bluegill, we got one white, um, white crappie, but it's not all that easy, you know? So if you want to attempt this around your area and your water temperatures are between like 30 to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, the first thing that you need to do is find the fish, all right? And that means you go to your local watersheds and you are familiar with the area, like I am familiar with this area. I already knew that there would be some fish in front of this spillway, you know? The thing is, after you find the fish, that is only one step, you know? The second step, you need to catch the fish, right? That is the tough part, okay? And let me quickly show you guys here today. I'm using the Kander's Outdoors jig. This is like my trusted wintertime jig right now. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Check this out. This is the Kander Outdoors jig. I'm using the 3mm size 16 hook, okay? With just one little piece of worm so i mean what i'm trying to tell you guys is you gotta downsize during the winter time as much as you can okay because the bite when the fish bites their stuff they're not going to inhale it like it is summertime you know they're actually going to nibble it they are very lethargic at this time of the year right which is why using a small hook like that maximizes your chances of hooking the fish when you actually have a strike okay we're gonna fish here for a little bit more uh, see if we can catch some other species of fish i am confident that we should at least be able to land a black crappie so we will see fish on hey wait a moment what is this here is this a, what i think it is is this a pumpkin seed uh definitely doesn't look like a bluegill but uh it doesn't look like a 100 percent pumpkin seed either i think we got ourselves a little hybrid here check this out this is a oh easy fish we got a hybrid on ice now man let me watch this guy take a few shots and then we're gonna release it okay I just took a few shots of our little hybrid fella right here. Who don't want to drop him on the ice again. Look at that, man. Super agitated, dude. Now, you guys may look at me and be like, Leo, how do you know this is a hybrid, right? If you guys take a closer look at this fish, first and foremost, it's got a little red on its operculum, which the bluegill does not have, right? And similarly, it's got blue on its operculum here, which pumpkin seed does not have. So in conclusion, this can only be a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. It doesn't really count as a new species for today since it is a hybrid, but ah! Anyways, <laughs> it is time to put this fella back in the water. Don't worry, he's been falling on the snow, okay? And the snow is fluffy, so this fish is fine, okay? But yeah, let's release it over here. Man, poor fish fell on the ice two times already you know this is not cool right fish this is not cool oh yeah yeah oh, that's it you're free go so we got another species for the day look at that <laughs> this is crazy look at this guys it's a small green sunfish, my first one of 2018, the Lepomis Sionellus. Wow, during the winter time, this is the first one that I've ever caught during the winter, okay? 
Yeah, this is pretty legit, man. This is another species. Fourth day and first one of this year. And this is a species actually that a lot of people around the country have trouble identifying. The little green sunfish. If you take a good look at it, right, some of the key characteristics of this species. First and foremost, the mouth is much bigger than the other species of sunfish out there. If you catch a sunfish with a big mouth, it's either a green sunfish or a warm mouth. Second thing, it's got a little bit of purple on the opercular flap. Also, it's got shades of orange, yellow, and sometimes white in its anal, caudal, and soft dorsal fin, right? A lot of people come to me to identify this species for them on Instagram. It is crazy. But all right, let's release this guy. This is our first green sunfish of this year. Man, that's a beautiful little fella. I was not expecting to catch one of these at all. Look at that. Went under that rock right away, right? This is what they like to do. They like to go under structure. Man, that was a nice little green sunfish to end the day. I think this is it for me today, guys. I mean, it is about 2 p.m. right now. It's starting to get cold. I can feel it, you know, winter time after 1, 1 1.30 p.m., man, it gets really chilly. And for a day like this, I got to tell you, you know, what? We caught four different types of fish, three different species, and uh, also a hybrid. This is a good day on the water for winter time, okay? I mean, water temperature is around 32 degrees Fahrenheit, you know? So I can't complain, right? A lot of people would complain, oh man, we didn't catch the sizes. We could have caught a few more crappie. But look, I gotta be realistic with you guys. You come out here on a day like this, not ice fishing, okay? And you catch a bunch of bluegill. Uh, you catch that nice crappie that we caught which is a rarity in my area from shore you gotta be happy with what god provides sometimes you know what i'm saying anyways this is it for today uh hopefully next fishing session is gonna be even more productive than this one but this video serves as an example for you guys right to show you guys that open water fishing during the winter is the real deal you know you can do it okay all you need to do is get your butts out of your couch, go out there and brave the cold. And sometimes you don't catch them, like the previous video here on the channel. Sometimes you catch some unexpected stuff, like the white crappie today, you know? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, all right? Tie lines, I'll see you all next time.